On today's episode of Driving Sports TV, we've come to the California desert to drive the new 2018 Ford Mustang GT. Perhaps the best thing about the Ford Mustang is that it is available in so many different configurations. On the bottom end, you have the $25,000 basic edition. That one includes a turbocharged four-cylinder, a six-speed, and rear-wheel drive. On the top end, you have the ultra-exclusive GT350R. That is the ultimate track machine. Somewhere in the middle lies this, the 2018 Ford Mustang GT. Now the model we're testing today is enhanced with the performance pack, and that bumps the price to just over $40,000. What did Ford do for the new 2018 model? Well, it's mostly about the drivetrain. You see, the V8 was fast before with 420 horsepower. Well now, it's got 460. Yeah, 20 more than the Camaro. Pound-feet of torque has been increased to 420. Uh, however, that is still a little bit less than the Camaro for those of you keeping score. Now, because this has a performance pack, that means it also has multiple driving modes. Everything from normal to drag to track and sport plus. Enough talking, let's start taking a look at the details. Of course, all the power in the world doesn't matter if you can't put it to the ground. That's why this performance pack equipped version of the GT comes with a 3.73 limited slip rear differential. And it is shot in Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. That means, <laughs> yeah, this thing has loads of grip, truckloads of grip, mountains of grip, an entire desert full of grip. The trunk is huge. And if you need more space, you could always fold down those kitty second row seats to make more room. Speaking of the second row, yes, the Mustang does have one. And no, a full-size adult can't fit in it. Not without losing a leg in the process. Thankfully, the front seat is much more accommodating. Even though the interior is very new, it's still very recognizable as a Mustang. I love the sound of the Mustang GT. It just has this rich burble. It just screams America. Because this is a GT with performance pack, it has a number of really great extras. First off, these seats. They're super comfortable, they're wrapped in leather, and I rather like them. The gauge cluster has replaced the traditional dials with a new 12-inch digital display. It gives me all sorts of information, uh, including navigation, step-by-step -step instructions. I can also go through and change various settings, uh, such as driver assist information, auto engine off, hill start assist, rear parking aid, and automatic wipers. And we can also click the little Mustang here and we get all these various modes. Ooh, this car is equipped with the optional exhaust note. We can go from quiet, here talk quiet, to normal, to sport, That's pretty cool. Why would you want quiet mode on your exhaust? Well, let's just say it's 3 a.m. and you're trying to exit a building with minimal fuss. Quiet mode is the way to do it. Moving on, track apps. Acceleration timer, cool. Brake performance, cool. Line lock, extra cool. And a lap timer, which most people don't use their car for that, but if you wanted to, you have that as an option. And then I can also do my start option from automatic to drag race countdown to racetrack countdown. This thing is designed not just for fun on the streets, but also fun at the track, and it is built into the car. Enough about that. Let's talk economy. 
This car gets 15 miles to the gallon city, 25 on the highway, which is actually quite good. And we'll leave it at that. Okay, navigation comes with the new Sync 3, which I actually really like. I really didn't care for that previous Sync. This one, however, doesn't just include all the Ford stuff, it also includes, voila, Apple CarPlay. Nice. And if I don't want to use CarPlay, I can go right back to the regular Ford menu system, which gives me lots of great options. Below that, we have all the climate controls that you would need, included heated and cooled seats, uh, as well as a heated steering wheel and automatic dual zone. Below that, the optional switch kit that comes in the performance edition of this car. The one thing I don't care for with this setup is, let's just say you want to go to track. Well, first click it once to activate it and then switch it a couple times more to get to track. And, oh, I overshot. Well, I want to go back. Well, you can't go back because it won't go down. So you have to toggle through all the options again. I understand why they don't have down because when you're setting things here, you might accidentally hit it. Uh, but I, I think that there could be a better option there. This transmission in this car is the manual six speed. Now, interesting fact about Ford Mustangs, a majority, so greater than half, of all Mustangs purchased come with a manual transmission. People just don't dig automatics in these cars. If you do want an automatic, you get Ford's new 10 speed with the paddle shifters, but who cares about that? This one is equipped as it should be with the manual transmission. And of course, traditional handbrake too, which is also something that I like. No sunroof, which is good because that just adds weight. The rest of the interior, very nice. Kind of this faux carbon fiber. Uh, we have this leather stitched look. It's all very straightforward, easy to use, and I rather like it. It is consistent with the history of this car, but it also brings it into the future. Oh, another added bonus, because this is a performance pack edition, it comes with an oil pressure and a vac gauge. Nice. Oh, it's also got a great rear view camera, and this one comes equipped with the rear radar. So from behind the wheel, I have to say everything falls to hand nicely. Uh, the steering wheel is a good feel, and in terms of feedback, even though it is electronic with variable speeds, it actually feels pretty good. It's not as direct feeling as the GT350R, of course. I have to say, the gauge cluster, I love it. And that little shift chime, uh, not only does it make a nice noise, but it's also adjustable. If I prefer to shift sooner or later, I can set it for wherever I want, which is great. Transmission, bang on, feels good. And that power, woo! Yeah. I mean, the shifts are really good and positive and I can feel what's going on and there's all these noises. Kind of feels like I'm in a race car, but an ultra comfortable one. Now, you do have the option for a 10-speed automatic with paddle shifters, but why would you do that? If you want that, just get the one with the EcoBoost and a base model because that's no fun. No, rowing your own, that's what this car is all about. Well, let's go to Green Valley, shall we? Woo! The Ford Mustang is such a hooligan car. It is just, it's hard to be polite when driving it because you have the power, the sound, the raucous feel, but it's so comfortable. I could commute in this car and have fun with weekends and even track it. It is such a do anything sport coupe. I absolutely adore this car. I adore it. Recently I was in Tennessee and I drove Nissan's version of the Mustang. It's called the 370Z. And I have to say, for the money, you could buy either a 370Z Heritage Edition or you could buy a base trim GT Mustang. It's like, no question, you get the Mustang. I hate to say it, Nissan, because I, I like lots of your other stuff, but when it comes to rear wheel drive coupes, 
yeah, it's Mustang all day, every day, I think. Oh yeah. Those tires, these Pilot, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's, just grip and grip and grip once they get warm. Now that's kind of the funny thing because when they're not warm, yeah, they don't grip that great. <laughs> but once they're heated up after just a couple passes, oh my gosh, grip for miles, which is a good thing because that's a drop of about a mile, I think. Holy butters. Oh yeah, this is amazing. And heel towing, pedal position, I think the, the brake is a little high. Uh, I could probably get a shop to adjust that though. And you know, I have to say with the combination of the traction control, the grip, the power, anybody can be a rock star in this car. Would I like to drive it without traction control? Sure, maybe if the road was closed. <laughs> I'm just goofing around here. This is fun. This is really, oh, those brakes. Yeah, this car comes with upgraded six pots in the front because it has the additional performance pack. And I have to say, oh my goodness, they haul this car down fast. You know, the steering feel on this car is quite good, especially for an electronic steering rack. Now, I get a few options because of that. I can go between normal, sport, or comfort. Of course, when you go into track mode or sport plus, it automatically switches it and uh, you don't get to pick another version. Now, of course, there are a number of other options on this um, program setting for the car. I could do drag strip. Now, neat thing about drag strip, it actually will soften up the rear suspension so that when you launch, you get maximum grip, which is really cool. Now, if I go to the other ones, let's see, there's snow and wet, which cuts power. Uh, there's normal, which is every day. My mode, if I want to do a special mix, a melange as it may be. Uh, but I'm just going to stick to Sport Plus because I like Sport Plus. There's one more feature we haven't looked at yet, and that's launch control. So let's go ahead and figure out how to do launch control. So, stop the car, hit the Mustang, go down to track apps, go to start option, now go back, back, back. Okay, well let's try traction control off, Launch control not available. Traction control on. Google how to do launch control Ford Mustang manual transmission. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Have the front wheels pointing straight ahead. Set your Mustang's traction control to sport mode by hitting the, the button twice quickly. Okay. Mustang centered gaze, scroll down to left arrow pad, steering wheel to the track apps and hit okay. Oh, that must be launch control. And go. That was easy. Woo! That was, that was cool. I like that. Go. 40 and 60. That's pretty quick. I'm sure an automatic could do it a little quicker, but not with nearly as much fun. Woo. Let's try one more time. Cause this is a Mustang. You can just do this all day long. Some cars you're like, ooh, finicky. It's gonna like blow up. This one, no, hell no. And go, launch control, holding at 3,400. I think it could probably be a little higher. Let's adjust that. Down all the way. Yeah. That's 
360. That was quick. We're not quite done yet. This Mustang GT has one more trick. Let me show you a line lock. This is pretty sweet. So it's fast, fun, and for the performance level, relatively affordable. Do I like this Mustang GT with the performance option? Yes, very much so. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to catch more Driving Sports TV.